Hello YouTube and welcome back, my name is Zadarkos and today we will start the in-depth beginner's guide to League of Legends, starting from the basics for any newcomer, moving for more advanced topics as we go. The goal of this guide is to welcome any new player to the community, giving him the tools to have a healthy startup so he can experience the game in its true potential. As we proceed along the videos, more advanced topics will be covered so that once the series is complete, it can serve as a helpful video tool for any player in all ranges of game knowledge. The guide will be divided in different videos, all focusing in one aspect at a time. This to avoid mixing too much information and focus on what matters, making it easier to understand and in the future look up exactly what you want to know and see by each video having its own focus and topic. Also to avoid creating a 4 hour long video more that would just bore everyone and make it difficult to find the specific topic you're looking for. For the first episode we will take a look around the basic mechanics of League of Legends, what the game is and how you play it. As always I would love to get your feedback and if there is anything you would like me to talk in the future please let me know as I will do my best to provide you with the content you need and that you enjoy. Without further ado, let me explain the basics. League of Legends is a MOBA, multiplayer online battle arena, where your goal is to destroy the enemy nexus located in the enemy base. The base can be reached by three different lanes, each one protected by towers that you will have to destroy to move forward, the top lane, the bot lane and the mid lane. At the end of each lane there will be a structure called inhibitor. Inhibitors are located within the base, there are three inhibitors on the map per team, each specific to one of the three lanes. They do not attack and have 4000 HP, 20 armor and no magic resistance at all. Inhibitors take only 85% damage from the champions. They also have a natural health regeneration, so if you do not finish off an inhibitor, it may be back at full health by the time that you come back. When the inhibitor is destroyed, it will cause your nexus to spawn super minions in the lane that the inhibitor was destroyed in, applying immense lane pressure. And in addition, minions spawn while the inhibitor is destroyed, receive bonus HP and attack damage. Inhibitor respawn 5 minutes after being destroyed. By destroying at least one inhibitor you will be able to attack and destroy the last two towers defended in the nexus. These towers or the nexus cannot be attacked before a inhibitor is destroyed or if it has respawned. So remember, the inhibitor needs to be destroyed and stay destroyed for you to attack the last towers and destroy the enemy nexus to win the game. You will play in a 5 man team in which each player has a different role to play. The standard roles are as follows, solo top lane, solo mid lane, jungle, bot lane AD carry and bot lane support. Selecting your roles should be one of the first things you should focus on, as playing each one of them completely changes your experience as they are played very differently and even sharing the same goal, that is winning the game, have different objectives and jobs during the game. Depending on your playstyle and even your personality, you can find your role either by finding a champion you really enjoy playing or by enjoying the overall gameplay of said role. As starters I would still recommend testing all roles out for a little while, at least as you level up, so you have a better understanding of them, get to know more champions and are sure of what fits your niche. But if all of this is completely new for you and you never played a MOBA, basically the role concepts are as follows. The solo top laner normally is a player that plays a bruiser or a tank champion, someone who can take damage and survive for longer, being able to disrupt the enemy team and work as a frontliner and engager in team fights. These champions normally are equipped with abilities that empower their survivability or disrupt the enemy in a form of crowd control and close gappers. Even though most of top lane basic champion picks are known as bruiser or tanks, they in many occasions are still capable of dealing respectable damage. As for mid laners, these normally are players that play ability based champions, mostly mages that deal magical damage or in some cases AD assassins, AD stands for attack damage, it's the physical type of damage, but we will talk about these words after. The mid laners focus on dealing high amounts of damage in a short period of time, called burst, and their job in teamfight is to target and burst down the enemy carries, so that the enemy carries don't deal damage to your team. Makes sense, right? So basically, if you like to deal a lot of damage but also be the target in most situations, well, you may as well just pick mid lane, play a mage or an assassin. Next are the junglers. The jungler doesn't lane like the other four roles, instead he gets his golden experience from neutral camps called jungle camps. There are six camps on each team's side, two of them being buff camps that help the champion that gets the buff once they are killed. But let's keep it simple for now, as in a future video, the focus will be the jungle and everything will be explained. 
but mostly the jungler's job is to secure neutral objectives like Baron Usher, Rift Herald and Drakes during the match, as well tip the balance of the teammates laners in his favor by ganking those lanes. Ganking happens when the jungler comes to a friendly lane to attack the enemy laner with his teammate in order to get an advantage, either by getting a kill, dealing damage or burning the enemy abilities or forcing them out of the lane. All of this makes the jungle actually a pretty advanced role to be played correctly and to master, but also one of the most impactfuls in the game. Then we have the AD carry, also known as ADC or Marksman. These players focus on high physical damage champions that scale throughout the game, ending up as the highest damage dealers per second in the team, or also known as with the highest DPS damage per second. These champions normally like the mages are very fragile, but are the key element to dealing damage to the enemy team so you can win the fights. They focus mostly on farming in the early game so that they can get the level and items needed to help their team. As normally, without items and level, they are pretty lacklusting champions. But in the late game, they are the main target in team fights, as they alone may kill everybody if not taken care of. The last role, but not less important, is the support. As the name suggests, they support the team. They stay in the lane with the AD carry, but instead of farming, they gain gold by using support specific items. Depending on the support type, the items change. Their main goal is to protect their teammates and help them win the fights with defensive abilities like shields, heals or even stat buffs or utility based abilities like slow stuns or knockbacks. There are also more offensive supports that deal damage, but the basics of a support is to help the teammates. They are also responsible for the most part of the vision for the team around the map. Even though every player should help with this, thanks to the item support get, their roles focus around gathering information and denying the info to the enemy team, protect the team during the laning phases, the AD carry and in some cases even help engaging in the fights. They mostly peel for the teammates and peeling basically means using abilities and zoning strength to separate your ally from the enemy threats. But of course I will do a video later on explaining peeling more in depth. When the game starts each team spawns in their fountain, located at the far end of their base. From there they will buy their starting items and move to their lanes or jungle and for the most part of the game they will stay on those lanes last hitting the enemy minions, also known as farming, to earn the experience to level up and gold to buy stronger items, last hitting happening whenever the player deals the killing blow to the enemy minion. XP is always gained by being close to the minion, but gold you only gain by last hitting it, by killing it. As the game progresses, objectives like Rift Heralds and Drakes located in the river that divides both sides will be contested between teams as they offer buffs and utility to the team defeating them. As the game progresses, laners should be able to destroy the first tier tower of their lane. Remember, the goal is to move forward in the lane to reach the enemy nexus and destroy it. They will need to destroy 3 towers to reach the lane inhibitor, also known as the first tier for the first tower, second tier for the second tower and third tier for the last tower of the lane, the third tower. As more towers get destroyed, players will start to move more around the map and group more for teamfights. By that time you should already have your core items to be effective. Something important to note is that in League of Legends, whenever you kill a champion, you get gold for the kill. If that player keeps dying without getting any kill themselves, for each kill you get, you get less and less gold. While if you kill a player that has a lot of kills and is in a kill streak, you will gain extra gold called as a shutdown. Because in League of Legends, when you are ahead, you have more kills, you get a bounty. And whoever kills you gets the base 300 gold for the kill, plus the bounty money they have. So. It's very important in League of Legends to stay alive and avoid dying without need. Because not only you will be missing experience and gold because you are dead and not playing, but also the person that kills you got a XP boost and also a gold boost, putting them even farther ahead. Another bad thing about dying in the game is that early on when you die, you respawn after a couple of seconds. It's actually really fast. But as the game progresses, the longer the game goes, more time you will have to wait to respawn. And that's what normally closes the games. Because when you have to wait almost one minute to come back to the game, that's when the enemy team normally pushes to get the win. So stay alive as much as you can, farm your experience and help your teammates.
I hope that this explanation gave you the basics to understand League of Legends and that now you can jump in and have a basic concept on how it works. I'm gonna select topics as we move on and do videos about them. And of course, if there is a specific topic you would want me to cover, just let me know in the comments. But here are some topics that you may already expect me to cover. I'm going to explain the laning phase, how minions work, how you should farm, I'm gonna explain you how you should ward, how you should trade, and trading is basically when you fight the enemy champion and you trade your resources for theirs. You deal damage, you take damage and so on. I'll talk about the jungle, I'll talk about each specific role and strategies throughout the game. I'll cover also more in-depth topics like armor and magic resistance, the numbers behind it, the math behind it, so you can understand completely how it works. But for now, I hope you enjoyed it as always, remember to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy, comment, let me know what you think, give me any opinion, I'll read all the comments and share it with your friends if you think it will help them. If you are not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for, just subscribe, help a fellow out and I will do my best to help you. My name is Ben Zadarkos and as always, be awesome and stay awesome. Bye bye.